Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial I will show how we can create this kind of dominoes effect in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So let's select this camera and light in the scene and delete them. Let's use our default cube now. So select the default cube, press 1 on the keyboard for front view. Press S, X and increase the scale in X axis. Now S, Z, increase the scale in Z axis. So let's reduce the scale in Y axis now. So S, Y and reduce the scale in Y axis. So we got our single domino. Let's place this just above to the grid here. So now let's apply the scale transform option. So go to this object, apply, apply scale. Now select the object, come to this modifiers, add modifier and add bevel modifier. So now we will get this bevel modifier applied correctly. Let's enable this cavity option so that it is visible. You can see we got that bevel applied correctly. So after that we can apply this bevel also. So now let's duplicate this domino. So select the domino, shift D, press Y and place it in Y axis. After that press shift R to repeat the last action. So here you can place how many dominoes you want. So I think these many are fine. Now let's select this first domino piece, come to this physics property, add rigid body, type let it be active and shape, change it to box. Since the shape is like box, we have selected this box. If the object which you are using is of irregular shape, make sure to change this to convex hull or mesh. So for this example, this box is fine. So now if I play this, you can see this domino is falling down. So we need to apply this property to rest of the dominoes. So first select this active one, later box select everything. Now come to this object, rigid body, copy from active. So now if I play this, all dominoes will fall down. Now let's create a ground plane. So go to this add, mesh, select a plane here. Press S and increase the scaling. And let's increase the scaling in Y axis also. Press one and let's see. Okay, I think this is fine. Now let's apply rigid body property onto this plane also. So select the plane, come to this physics property, add rigid body, but type change it to passive. So now if I play this, you can see the dominoes are not falling down, nice. So now let's add UV sphere, which is going to be a colliding object for this dominoes. So let's go to this mesh and select this UV sphere. And I need to increase the scaling of this UV sphere here. Okay, so I think let it be like this only. We need to apply the scaling, so go to this object, apply, apply scale. Let's place this here. Now let's model a sliding object. So go to this add, mesh and select a cube. I'll be using cube only. So press S and increase the scaling. Press 3 for side view and let's place this just above to the grid here. And let it be here like this. And press tab key for edit mode, change this to wireframe mode. And let's select this vertex, change the vertex here so that it creates some slope and select this vertex here and bring it back here like this. Okay. So now we got this slope object created, right? So now let's apply rigid body property on this UV sphere and this slope object. So now let's select this UV sphere, come to this physics property, add rigid body type. This should be active and in this shape, I can select this sphere. Now select this slope object add rigid body this should be passive and shape change it to mesh or convex cell so let me change this to convex cell and see so now if i play this the uv sphere will be rolling here and it collides with the dominoes and later the dominoes will be falling one by one so here the simulation is ending at 250 so if you want to extend the simulation come to the same property rigid body world come to the sketchy options here we will get this simulation start and end frames here let's increase this to 350 frames and timeline also i will increase this to 350 so once you are happy with the simulation just click on this bake button and our simulation will be ready so here the bake is done and now let's see the simulation so here the UV sphere is falling down it hits the domino and later the dominoes will fall down one by one so in this way we can create this kind of dominoes effect in blender easily using rigid body physics so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye